Hey guys, what's going on? It's I am Slick, and I am here with my first Call of Duty commentary. I'm not gonna go into depth with anything in particular, other than a few topics that I want to discuss, because uh, I think it's safe to say that you guys are all uh, up to date on the game itself, and the perks, and the weapons, and the maps, and whatnot. The whole, the whole nine yards, the whole works of the game. Um, like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, I got a few topics I want to discuss, or one main one, anyways. Um, anyways, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. My name is William. I was born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, and I continue to live here until further notice. Until I, uh, choose to either move or, you know, whatever the future holds, of course. Um, play style, just briefly, I, I am aggressive. But, uh, I, I think it's safe to say that, um, I have the ability to, I believe I have the ability anyways to rush be a tryhard, but also uh, be able to sit back with a sniper rifle or assault machine gun or you know a submachine gun and support the team from behind. And, uh, yeah, you like that when they say support from behind, don't you? And uh, you know what? And safely post a positive score and um, and benefit the team. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is a little bit of an aggressive, and it doesn't always work. Keep that in mind. So I think I think that it can work if you can make it work. And I know that's very vague, but um, it's true. Gun skill and route do play a big part. As much as you want to be in denial, uh, gun skill does help. Sensitivity helps, and uh, route, of course, plays a huge, huge part. Um, horrible route right here for myself, dead, and uh, that's what happens when you play stupid. All right, so the topic I'm going to get into right now—it's nothing huge. It's pretty generic. Um, MLG and game battle community. Um, for any of you guys who have played. Uh, Call of Duty 1 or United Defensive for PC. Ooh, that guy. Oh, I, feel, I feel so bad every time I see that. Um, I played Call of Duty 1 and United Defensive probably about six years. Uh, um, and three years of that, of those six, I spent playing competitively. So, I mean, I've seen the changes that have been through the game. And uh, I don't want to sound like an old man, like, Oh, I miss, uh, I miss the glory days uh, of COD. You know, you know, it's just like... Yeah, it's not what I want. It's not who I want to be. It's just that uh, it, it is kind of difficult to see the amount of changes and how it's not so much the changes themselves, themselves. It's how the changes um, came to be, if you will. Um, and it wasn't sudden because obviously it takes time for each Call of Duty to come out. But I think it's I think it's the fact that that uh, clans such as Optic or the most well-known clans or whatever they may be take it upon themselves to. Uh, to um, realize the position that they hold in within the community, and they use it to their advantage to uh, make rules for game for games and um, what can be used here and what can't be used and what they think what they deem gives an advantage. And uh, I just think that it's going back from the community where um, Call of Duty One for PC where there were no perks and uh, all it was was based on skill and how good you were and the best player would continue and the best clan would beat the other other clan and it was just a matter of skill and common sense uh, of and gaming ability and nowadays it's it's turned into um, something uh, just something that seems unappealing to me uh, for example I've tried to join multiple uh, game battle or MLG forum clans and uh, I'm booted and blocked from communications because I'm not familiar with the rules but also because I, I, I want to take the time to learn them, but I'm just not familiar, and nobody wants to um, waste their time, quote-unquote waste their time, uh, telling anybody how it works because they just expect you to know, and I find it's kind of unappealing, and it is something that I would like to do, of course, anybody would like to do that, but it's kind of a turn-off when uh, all of that's happening is uh, blocked communications, and I think it's people in those positions who um, who've earned it, obviously, but I think they take it upon themselves to to um, write the rule book, if you will, and um, make the guidelines for themselves and for everybody else. And everybody is simply expected to to uh, do as they're told and do as they say. Um, and it's fine because I know that's what it's become. But I I um, I don't um, I don't really uh, take a huge appeal to that. It's kind of yeah. I, and I don't want to sound like I'm a, I'm a grouch. I do love Call of Duty and lo I love the community. But I think it's that the, it's the fact that those sort, sorts of people um, 
they take away from all the good aspects of the game. Anyways, that's my rant for today. I'm going to show you two clips, three times each, and this first clip is me uh, calling UAV running down a hallway, and the only reason I show you two is because I believe it is a mistake. Um, I told myself that there was nobody down the hallway, but of course there could have been, and if my UAV is up in my hand as so, um, the guy would have shot me right between the eyes, and I would have sworn and smashed my controller. No chance in defending myself. This one here, pretty straightforward. Um, I make a lazy shot, a couple lazy shots right here. I see him, but it's like, uh, I'll get him over here, no big deal. And I expected him to be looking the other way, in complete honesty. honesty. And uh, I make a lazy shot, as I said, and it's a horrible entrance. I bump into the wall, and I'm tripping over my cankles, and it's just like... And now I watch it 15 times in a row to uh, teach myself a lesson. But yeah, just be weary and never make any assumptions like that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feedback is welcome, good or bad, and I'll see you soon. Peace.